Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing Great Technic Horizons Season 2. And as you can see, we have something here. A lot of drawers. A lot a lot of drawers. Uh, they are empty at the moment. By the way, we also have walk trims here. Uh what are trims? Uh they are basically uh Drawers without drawers. Uh, their only function is to connect uh, a drawer to another. One drawer to another. Anyway, uh, our double plates. Okay, now. Just look. Oh, yeah. Gold chair. Okay, you need to be in two. Okay, uh, we are making uh, diamond chests, a few diamond chests, they will be used a lot, oh, I'm sorry, I just uh, mystery uh, saw, oh, okay, also, I did some quest hunting, <laughs> and uh, about... Uh, Able to finish a lot of quests. Oh. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, I, I just realized one more quest I was holding for... Uh, on camera. So, let's also make it. Uh, by the way, most of the quests are just armors. And... Let's... Do this guy and by the way why I made extras because I'm gonna need them obsidian rod okay and let's make an obsidian rod I if I remember correctly I can make here yes yes and let's make this one too. So yes, I wa was planning to do that because it gives three uh, enchanted uh, loot bags. Nice. Yeah. Ah. And just one of them still is kind of sort of okay. Uh, I was hoping. Uh, by the way, I'm holding the last one for this, but we cannot do uh, that yet. And also, I want to show you how Spectre Armor shows. Mm. Yeah, I'm transparent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm transparent uh, if I uh, wear that. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue with our objective our current objective is here logistics pipes and we have drawer controllers uh how do we get them because to craft them we need actually i can make now just this part is annoying but i didn't have to craft them because let me just show you basic automation. Both this quest and this quest J1. And I'm going to place this one here. Actually, let's make the orientation like this. Yes. And we have a drawer controller. Okay, how drawer controller works? Uh, for example, let's do this. If I place this chest here, I can... Whoops. Ah, oh, by the way, I also made new wrench. If I... Drawer controller, okay. You should be connected. Why you are not connected? Just 
look for a bit. Okay, uh, it was not it was not working as I was I planned, but no problem. I by the way I changed some configs. Uh, it was allowed in the Great Tech New Horizons rules, and I'm planning a new design. And the good thing is we have. By the way, yes, I'm uh, placing the drawers like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good solution. Also, we need to remove the middle one, but I will go down a bit. So, yes, this one. By the way, I'm using some uh, 2x and some 1x uh, ones too. Uh, why? Because I... I used I, I will go use them for the items that's going to be required uh, require a lot of space. Yeah. And let's light the area too. And where is my torch? Yeah. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? Uh I'm just gonna take one more of this guy. And yeah, I forgot this guy too. I need a better entrance. I will. I will eventually, but <laughs> in the meantime, it's still a hazardous area for me. And voila, and voila. And the only thing left is. Fixing the orientations. Uh, it's super easy because they can be changed by wrench. Okay, all the orientations are uh, done. And if we do this, the corner, 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 and the back. This corner doesn't recognize and... Yeah, that's the only corner that didn't get recognized. And probably same with this. Corner, corner, corner. Wait, what? This one recognized all, but this one didn't. Why? Just put you back and do this. Okay. And this again. And yeah. This one doesn't get recognized. This one get recognized. All of them. Literally all. Oh. Uh, by the way, it's already on the limit, so I can just do this and move these guys uh, one block up. So, if I do this, corner, corner, yes, corner, corner, corner. And corner. And if I do this, corner, 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 okay. And I will do a better pathway. Corner, corner. Okay. And this time it recognized all. So, this part is ready. And... What we're gonna use it with? Something really fun. Also, we have some excess uh, drawers. That's good. That's actually good. And come to think of it, should I do the entire wall? Nah, no, no, no. It's good. It's good. Now, we are gonna need just a smart mark two. 
two chassis marks, uh, chassis pipe mark twos, and I'm also gonna need a power source. Yeah, we're gonna need one, and also small putting pipes. I hope this is okay. Basic gas turbine, thank you, and you're the last one. Uh, request table, no, I wasn't planning on using you now. Ah, power junction, thank you. And let me just get those, and also that. And polymorphic item sync, and this. And if we... Just logistics chassis pipes. Thank you. And basic logistic pipe. Those are connected. And unrelated logistics pipes. Time to use you guys. And the jetpack. Okay. And one basic logistics pipes there. And with that, we should just connect to... And I guess my... yeah. The power is... <laughs> Jetpack off. Copter pack off. Okay. Now, what we're gonna need is a power source. And a wrench. And connect that wrench to here and connect our power source power junction. Is it gonna use all of it or should I just put a okay? It's about okay, it's getting power, and should I use a I think I need to use this guy. Basically, just six pipes. Yeah, it's connected now. And if you look at here, this seems connected. Now I need to, yes, polymorphic item sync and provider. And also same with here. And if I do this, and let's make this, and for example, put this, I can just see all the cobble here. And 64 requests. Okay, <laughs> it's give me. <laughs> And, but why we are not going to use this guy. We are going to use a bigger brother. This guy. It's literally the same thing with a crafting table. And yeah, we are going to have our first logistics pipes network. And well, the main plan is connecting this to here. Can I? Doesn't root. Okay. Can't act. Okay. Um, server for. Can I cover those guys? I don't know. If I can, I will use this. Cover. Okay. Uh, because they are derivatives of this guy. Is uh, the build craft pipe? So I do believe they can be covered. Let me just look at it and assembly table. Yeah, it's gonna need an assembly table. An assembly table. Yeah, it's just expensive at the moment. But I can use here for now, or I can just use those corners. It actually might work. Yep. 
the corners might work. I was planning on using this area for the thing, but corners also work. But actually, come to think of it, it won't be that ugly. Because, uh, believe it or not, those guys are kind of pretty. And I like seeing items flying around here. So, I will use here. And... Uh, worst case scenario, we are just gonna use... We will just use the thingy magiggies. Uh... Uh, what what was it? The oh, I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, the project red covers. Actually, no, for the most part. Now, I was thinking about the red power ones. And uh, good thing to do is all. And yeah, your power usage is how much power you are using? Ah. Stored energy. You don't see show your used energy, so we will look at it in the future. And voila, we have a logistics pipes network. Now I have to fill everything up. But so with our logistics pipes network, actually we have some really good advantages, and uh, one of them is uh, let me just show you the here. We can easily go auto crafting, and that's actually an amazing thing uh, that would be ha uh, that would going to happen to us. And yeah, uh, it's actually, it currently solves our storage problem. Uh, I will probably add more storage drawers along the line here. And this area is going to be a huge mess of uh, pipes and cables. But it's, it works, it works. Uh, actually, comes to think of it, I can just, I could just connect these two here. Apparently, it doesn't like the cables. It wants to directly connect to the power source itself. Actually, do we have a... This guy. Uh, what was it? The capacitor. Mm, we should have something like that. Capacitor, capacitor, capacitor. Capacitor. Oh, we have those guys, and we can make. A, uh, we need to make chassis. And chassis is basic capacitor, steel casing, and electrical steel plate. Okay, let's let's make it. Electrical steel plate and steel casings. And some capacitors. That's all. That's all we need to do. And casings, come here. By the way, we're gonna make a uh, auto crafting extruder line. And that would be a super useful thing. And plates are electrical steel plate. Thank you. And capacitor. Actually, we are going to need four of these to complete a quest, but I will... I won't bother with it yet. Or let me just do that. And with that, we, sh we should have a basic capacitor. And... A capacitor bank, sorry. And if I put you here, uh, I'm putting this because, if I remember correctly, Those guys usually do not like uh, 
is equal to six pipes. I don't want you to directly connect it to. Yeah. And basic capacitor bank. And voila. And configuration is output, and this side will be input. And yeah, it's filling. It's filling. Okay. Now, uh, with that, actually, we can, we should just see. Uh, eventually, we will see how much RF. Uh, EU slash RF we are using, but yep, we have this network, and I just need to fill everything up. After that, we will have our basic uh, storage needs uh, covered, and everything will be slow but painful process for me. And after a long sorting session, by the way, there are still chests here, but it's mostly not frequently used items. And this part is completely garbage. And I'm planning something interesting for the rest of it. Remember the diamond chests we made? Yeah, you will see. By the way, this is current uh, area, it will fill even more. Uh, by the way, a reason we lock uh, the things is not to uh, not allowing to them to forget what they had. If we don't lock it, then uh, the last item pulls will remove the uh, remove it. But if you can, as you can see, Currently, we have zero electric piston, but it still remembers it. And we have chests Mark IIs connected to diamond chests. Yeah, that. And also, I dug a temporary staircase here. And we need one last, ah, one last thing here, and it requires rob. But are uh, wait, don't do I have? Should I have? One? I should have one. No, I don't. So we have to make it. <coughs> That's actually a good thing because I have to. <laughs> Motor. Okay. Uh, robot arm. Come here. You require one medium voltage circuit to motor, uh, three motors, and few uh, thingy-majiggies. Uh, three motor requests. Okay, by the way, I'm going to close this pop-up, and you see something, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Request. And our item comes. And I'm just going to make two small gears and the rest is rods. And come here. And aluminium plates. Three. Uh, wait. You. Yes. Six plates. Thank you. And actually, I do not have to do that because I can just most likely most likely okay. But I will temporarily use that because I want to get rid of all of them. And voila. And if I want to craft it... Ah, electric piston. Most likely. Done. And will it... Yes, it will request 
the remaining. Uh, I yeah. Voila, and most likely okay. I want to use that, but I will have to do this too. Uh, Monsor, come here. Thank you. And by the way, uh, we will continue with requesting things like that and uh, crafting things like that, etc. And then uh, teaching our system where to put them all the time, like this. So, uh, this is also going to be much, much more painful than it, see it looks. And Lulumar is extra. Okay, now we don't need those. Uh, the item sync module, come here, provider, and the rest of the providers, come here. Yes. And what we're going to do is take a wrench. First, install provider module to all of them. Because uh, provider module allows our system to pull from those inventories. And I'm going to put polymorphic item sync modules to all of those. And uh, wait, ah, okay. And normal item sync modules to those. And those two will be the default rules. And yeah. Uh, what it means uh, if our system ends up not finding any place to put something, it will uh, try to go to those two. And polymorphic item sync, uh, as you can see, it doesn't have any configuration, but it works in a really nice and fun way. For example, let me just... Um, what should I get? Rubber ring. And boss. Uh, it works in a way like that. Uh, which one should I put? Yeah, put on this. Okay. If I... Uh, I put one there. If I put this, it's going somewhere. And let's follow it. It goes there. Polymorphic items, item sync searches its inventory and uh, finds a suitable place for everything. And the default root is default root. Uh, if the system doesn't find any place to send items, it will just send them to the default root. So yeah, this is our sorting system. And yeah, I will add more chests in the future and probably more. Uh, this rover wall still not full, but yeah, we, it will fill eventually. So yes, <laughs> that's our current situation. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm just going to place everything there. And after I decide, I will decide that some of them and can hold, uh, they are a bit much. Uh, I will make a dedicated spot for them. So yeah, that's currently how it's going to work. Every, every crafting material of great tech goes there. The frequently used ones will go there, etc, etc. So this is going our sorting system. And it works! <laughs> it works really nicely.
and I do not have to search for the chests all the time because uh, rubber ring, it's here. And I don't, I don't even need to search for the inventories because I can just paste the recipe and pull the items. So it's much, much, much nicer to deal with. And our next objective is going to be our mining, uh, not mining, uh, the ore processing. Or should I move its magic a bit? Because I spent too much. No, first ore processing, ore processing. Uh, but I want to open something also. Actually, where was it? Multiblock goals. Was it in the multiblock goals or GT? Ah, by the way, we can open the. Yes, uh, we can now open the thing here. Hydrofluoric acid, okay. We will eventually automate that too uh, when we start running with high voltage. But my current goal is GT. Is it? Yeah, it's this. And it requires separating gems from dust. Guards. Okay. Separating gems. Se gems. Okay. Uh, it require. It's gonna require high voltage. Uh, sifting machine. Can I make it? No, oh, I cannot. I ha first have to do this quest. Actually, I can. I will. With this helper, I can make much more easier. And after automating some things, I will probably open er another room here. And that will be our auto crafting area. That's filled with wire mills. Uh, uh, play uh, banding machines and etc uh, etc et that will just auto crafts uh, whenever we want something and with that we finally have a cultured ME system yeah uh, th this is what I'm calling uh, logistics vibes Cult cultured a uh, cultured man applied energy system ME system and it's the uh, underground is really ugly really 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 ugly and also i will just put all those dusts here and also all these gems should i categorize the gems i feel like i should Yeah, uh, later. Not at the moment. It's not urgent. And I have to uncompress this charcoal. And ingots. With that, we have our brand new sorting. <laughs> it's... So long uh, searching chests and doing a lot of things manually. Now we have an automation. Okay, I just rambled a lot and uh, our next goal is uh, our, our situation that we have to automate the processing part. After that, we will be happy. I'm still not going to bother with uh, byproducts, and this guy will do fine. Will will do just fine. It's an amazing dude, and it works really, 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 really well. 
I will probably upgrade the furnace to the electric version and not the bait normal electric furnace, but multi smelter. Multi smelter. That's a blast furnace cousin that, but it requires high voltage circuit. So I might uh, work with this guy for a while too. And yes, it's our. Home. This is Drifty, and have a nice day.